You've probably wired up a three-phase motor countless times, but have you ever stopped to think? Why does it start on its own while a single-phase motor needs a capacitor or some external starter? What makes three-phase motors inherently self-starting? Let's break it down in a way that makes sense. The key reason is the rotating magnetic field, RMF, generated by the three-phase power supply. When we apply a balanced three-phase voltage to the stator windings, each phase is 120 degrees apart in its waveform. This phase shift creates a continuous, smoothly rotating magnetic field inside the stator. Now the rotor, whether it's squirrel cage or wound type, sits inside this field. According to Faraday's law, any conductor in a changing magnetic field will have an EMF induced in it. That's exactly what happens here. The rotor bars cut through the rotating flux, generating induced currents, per Lenz's law, and these currents create their own magnetic field, which interacts with the RMF. The result? A torque that pulls the rotor into motion in the same direction as the stator field, without any external help. If you're finding this helpful, hit the like button. It lets me know to make more like it. Thanks. Now, compare this to a single-phase motor. Here, we don't get a rotating field, just a pulsating one. If you analyze it mathematically using the two-axis theory, a single-phase supply can be thought of as two counter-rotating magnetic fields of equal magnitude. At a standstill, they cancel each other out, meaning no net starting torque. That's why we need a starting winding, capacitor, or shaded pole to create an initial phase shift and force the motor into motion. In contrast, the three-phase motor already has a built-in rotating field, so it naturally starts spinning as soon as power is applied. This is exactly why industrial loads rely on three-phase motors. They provide self-starting capability, eliminating the need for additional components. Higher efficiency, since power is distributed more evenly across three phases. Consistent torque, reducing pulsations and extending motor lifespan. Whether you're dealing with pumps, compressors, conveyors, or HVAC systems, three-phase motors are the backbone of industrial power systems for this very reason. Let me know. Have you ever encountered a three-phase motor that refused to start? What was the issue? Drop your experiences in the comments.